What's up, y'all? You already know who it is. The one and only D Blaze back in action with Venomous Reactions. And this one comes from Mo WatchMojo.com. The top 10 villains of Dragon Ball Z. I ain't gonna front. They have some memorable villains. Both, both canon and non-canon. So, I'm intrigued to see who made the list. Hopefully some of my favorites will pop up, but I'm going to get to that after the video. So, no more further introductions. Let's go. Get ready to go Super Saiyan, because these bad guys will tear you apart. <sighs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Dragon Ball Z villains. The robotic pills very dope. should warn you, there will be some spoilers up ahead. So, spoiler alert. Number 10, Raditz. Yeah. The brother of Goku. I can see why he made top 10. To I mean, to help get number it ready 10. for sale on the planetary trade market. And by get ready, we mean by exterminating every person on the planet. While attempting to persuade Goku to join his cause, Raditz kidnapped his nephew Gohan and even tried to kill him. It's Gohan, not Gohan. Talk about a strange family relationship. Goku's gullible ass. Number nine, Dr. Jiro. You are a bit stronger than I anticipated. But it is nothing I cannot handle. Your defeat is imminent. There's always an evil scientist bent on world destruction. Stamping you out of existence is a as, trifle. As in, as, the as in every anime show that's ever existed. In true Terminator style, Jiro's goal was to take revenge on Goku for collapsing the Red Ribbon Army. Eventually, okay. he programmed loyal Android 19 to transfer his brain to an Android body to gain eternal life and fighting abilities as Android 20. <laughs> Number 8, Android 17, 18, and 19. I had hoped to avoid what about 16? Him again so soon. Hopefully he's on the, the Hopefully he's on the list. Test has come. Created by Dr. Jiro. These mechanical baddies are said to have unlimited energy and eternal life. We will destroy them. Yes? Their most distinctive aspect is that they do not possess energy levels that can be detected. Thus, they are more elusive and harder to evaluate. You two better be careful. There's a couple of androids on the loose and they mean business. Of Android 17, 18, and 19, 17 is probably the most deadly. <laughs> Huh? Android 17. No denying that there. This is the controller he used to deactivate us last time. After all, he did help kill his creator and is a general anarchist. However, his most distinctive trait is his pride. You're not going to put us to sleep again, old man. Number seven, Captain Ginyu. <laughs> uh... I've never seen someone so cool in a line of fire. Leader of the most revered assault team in the galaxy, Captain Ginyu inspires fear in all who witness his well-choreographed battle poses. There's a reason the Ginyu Force is named after him. Captain Ginyu boasts an incredible power level as well as special skills. I, I don't know why he's on the list. No one can survive the awesome power of a Ginyu Force. The most famous of these is his ability to switch bodies with almost any living thing. Other than that, I don't see anything special about Ginyu. Hey, what kind of? His loyalties reside only with Frieza, and he'll resort to any lengths to complete his duties. <laughs> this guy is is nuts. Number six, Deborah. Yes. Make the best decision of your life and help me crush him while we can. As the ruler of the demon realm, this devilish villain was forced under Bobbity's control to be his right-hand man. Master Bobbity. However, he's certainly unique in his sophistication. I would, I would expect well the board to make style. at least the top five. Deborah, have you gone over there? He uses efficient tactics 
and possesses the ability to turn his opponents into stone by spitting on them. Hey. Run along, boo. Or shall I turn you into stone? Gross. Whoever did this was really good. It looks just like him. Number five, Super Boo. I mean, I've been expecting you. Ever now, since I started this, I can understand. Rats. This incarnation of the DBZ baddie was created when Evil Boo turned Majin Boo into chocolate and ate him. The resulting Basically. Super Boo is incredibly short-tempered, and his goal is to do just whatever he feels like. Now you'll see what Aside kind of from being a lunatic. <laughs> which most of the time involves killing and eating. How about chocolate? His most powerful and unique attack is his ability to absorb an opponent. <laughs> After which he takes on their energy and attributes. Number four, Vegeta. He's so confident. How did he achieve that drastic increase in power and speed? Known okay. As the Prince of okay. Sins, Vegeta, Vegeta being at number four Earth, is so surpassable the Dragon Balls and, and understandable. An attempt at immortality in order to take revenge on Frieza for destroying his planet and race. This guy is arrogant, vengeful, and cold to the point that he blasted his own comrade into <laughs> dust for failing to kill Goku. <laughs> Oh, oh, Vegeta's always when been a dick. turns to the side of good, Vegeta's pride will forever push him to surpass his limits to try to beat Goku. <laughs> Very accurate. Number three, Broly. <laughs> yes! You wish not to fight that guy, understand? But I'm going to destroy this planet no matter what. Born with a power level of 10,000, this long-lost Super Saiyan has a psychopathic thirst for destruction. The only way his father <laughs> prevented him from destroying everything in sight was by keeping him under mind control. By controlling Broly's power, mm. I could control the Not universe. Not anymore. And even that was broken by his rage. Broly eventually crushed his father in a space pod and threw him into an oncoming asteroid. <sighs> but Damn. what's he got against Goku? Basically... Goku used to cry a lot when he was a baby. That's it. Number two, Cell. I've been waiting for this. Killing the helpless quickly grows old. Created by Dr. Zero. I'm Jiro, sad that Cell did not make number one. Of cells from but the most powerful beings in the galaxy. This is in the top. One of his most this is in the top three. His tail, which he uses to absorb energy and matter from people and androids in order to add to himself. Yes, that's right, children. Cell often boasts that he is the perfect warrior, and his goal was to prove it by staging a worldwide martial arts tournament with the fate of the planet at stake. Cell game. Oh, that's terrific, boss. That's the same thing I felt when he knocked me from the ring. Yes, same here. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Yes, it's incredible. My father was a genius wizard. Just like I would say he's said. the most annoying. <laughs> That was set. <laughs> Number one, Frieza. Having these balls makes me feel something that resembles joy, I think. Good choice. I to them. No other villain has ever lived up to Frieza's ruthless evil and intimidating nature. I should never have been so easy on them. But Very true. Time you'll catch me showing any mercy to these mammoth people. The once galactic ruler operated the planetary trade economy. And he resorts to any kind of tactics to win, which may include blowing up a planet or two. Die, planet, die! In an act so sadistic we still can't believe it, Frieza murdered Goku's best friend right in front of him. Frieza, stop this! Help me! Which led to the legendary Super Saiyan being unleashed. Woo! The sickest transformation. Hands you down. Agree with our list? Which ruthless DBZ villain do you love to hate the most? Those rats! Just wait till I get out of here! For more Super Top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.
Mm. This is a pretty good list. What? <laughs> mm. Watch Bojo. Kudos. Most of the choices I can agree with. Of course, my list would have been a little bit more different. Some of them should not even be on the list. Some of them should should have deserved to be in. Uh, some of them should have been in the honorable mentions section, but I ain't complaining. I mean, I saw some of my favorites in there: Frieza, Cell, Broly, Super Boo, Vegeta. And, and and of course, Android seventeen and eighteen. I'm I'm. Ugh. I wish you would have thrown sixteen up in there, but hey, it is what it is. Above all, good top ten. Thank you all for tuning in, and don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to check your boy out one time. And I shall see y'all next time. Peace.